Welcome, 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 family. This is Queen here. Queen Karmic Ships back here again with another karmic message for the collective. Don't know what's coming out, but we're about to see. I surely don't want to do these cards like this. Hold on, collector. Okay. I'm picking up some confusion here. <laughs> some confusion energy. What's here? Maybe the only take what resonates and delete what does not. Wow, heavy on the fire sign here. Okay. Somebody said you just can't blow me off like that. You ain't gonna blow me off like that. So what's this all about, spirit? Somebody like you ain't gonna blow me off like that and you ain't gonna brush me off like that. Okay. Somebody has seen seen it all. Somebody done seen it all. What's here, Holy Spirit? What's the message you have for the divine gods and goddesses that uh love to frequent your channel here? Because this is your channel, Holy Spirit, not mine. I want to thank you all, divine beings, for uh, tuning in and tapping into this channel. I deeply appreciate you. Spirit appreciates you. Appreciate your time, you know, your effort, the love that show, you show the channel. Um, with that being said, let's tap in and see what Spirit guys and the divine universe has to say. What source has to say. What messages do the source have for the cosmic gods and goddesses of love keeping it real? What's here, Holy Spirit? Please and thank you. I was trying to do a live, y'all. Somebody got magical protection. This is the only card that's flipped over. Magical protection. So somebody's got magical protection. I'm going to go ahead and leave that one now. Somebody. Cell cat. Magical protection here. Somebody got magical protection. I know St. Patrick's Day coming up. I don't know what they got to do with it, but it's green. Somebody's heart is open, but somebody's magically protected. You know, it's like a lucky charm for somebody here. I don't know. So what's here, Spirit? What's the energy here? I just got a feeling Spirit got a lot to say tonight. I was trying to do a lab, but I couldn't get my computer to do the right thing. So hey. Spirit says it's loud enough. Oh, wow. Energy healing. Somebody's a healer here. But somebody's magically protected against anybody trying to do anything to them. Like any type of spell work, anything like that, you are protected. Honey, this child, you're protected. Not just for right now, but for life. For life. You are magically protected. Okay. You have magical protection illuminating all around you, whoever you are. What's here, Holy Spirit? Hmm. Earthly focus here. So you could be an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be any sign, but I'm picking up on the earth sign. You, you can just relax because whatever somebody tried to do to you collective for masculine, you have a magical light illuminating around you. Somebody may have tried to go into your Akashic Records. They've been denied. Okay, they tried to make something happen. They couldn't make nothing happen. What else is here, Spirit? But this is all about healing energy. So, you healing or either you... you, you Can't nobody touch you. I don't care what kind of magical spell work they try to, try to do on you. Or, or do towards you collector. You are protected. Okay? I told you, Akashic Records came out again. Somebody been trying to go on your Akashic Records. But you protected from this. Okay, you protected from this. Not just for now, but for life. For life. My, my, my. I don't know why people try to do this spell work on people and stuff like that. Not knowing that, you know, people are protected from this this type of stuff, this type of energy. Okay, the alchemy and creation, I told you. You're an alchemist, naturally. You deflect all negative energy. You, you have magical protection. Somebody's been trying to go on your Akashic Records here. So, yeah, they try to create some challenges for you. 
<laughs> but they couldn't. Okay? They couldn't. Because you see, you have a sick reunion with the divine source that they don't have no understanding of. No understanding, no understanding, no overstanding, no, no, no kind of standing with the most high. <laughs> they need to heal their soul. That's what Spirit said. So let's see what's going on with this karmic energy. Mm, I don't know. Well, Spirit said at least two out of here. But this wasn't the dick I was reaching for. But see, okay. <coughs> we got the door opener. Patai. We got Patai out here. We got Tahuti out here. Okay. We got the Ankh out here. We got uh, Cell Cat. Could be Segment. And we got Gab. Okay. We got Energy Healing. Magical Protection. Earthly Focus. Akashic Records. And Alchemy and Creation. And see here's the Ankh right here. When I say you're protected for life. You're protected for life. There is an aura. A light around you. That keeps you protected from anybody trying to get into your Akashic, Akashic Records. Excuse me. Akashic Records. For life. With the Ankh right here. For life. Okay. So I don't know who's trying to get into your Akashic Records. Okay, but somebody's going to try to time and time again is what I see here. Okay, but see, they, they ain't getting the, the, the outcome that they expected here. It was unexpected. Okay, because they had no business trying to go on your Akashic Records anyway. That's what Spirit said. Oh, yeah. Because even, even, even set created challenges for them for trying to go on your Akashic Records. Y'all know who set is here. Okay. Wow. Hmm. What's here, Holy Spirit? Because <laughs> I feel like this one about to be deep collected. I don't know how, how deep this rabbit hole go, but it goes pretty deep. Somebody had no business trying to go go in, in nobody's life and nobody's life history or none of that. Akashic records or none of that. Because they was already protected. Now whoever tried to go in your Akashic records is about to be met with some challenges because you're protected for life. Whoever you are, you are protected for life. Yeah, somebody that was all on their ego, head strong, thought they could do something to you. But the outcome was unexpected. The one they about to receive is unexpected. What's here, Holy Spirit? Mm. What's here? It ain't I'm I, I feeling it's not good for this person to try to do this to you, collector. It's not a good outcome for them. What's on this karma's mind, Holy Spirit? Somebody's struggling to get over the past here. But see, I don't know because they've been they've been struggling. <laughs> they've been struggling for a long time. Okay. To get over you, collective. Okay. They've been struggling to get over you. They ain't trying to do some 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 dark magic on you. Okay. But see, you protect. They didn't want all of your Akashic records. They probably want to see some practitioner try to get some shit done. Oh, so 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 y'all can get back together because y'all been separated for some time now. Okay, is what I'm picking up here. And they've been they've been struggling to get over the past here. This person still thinks that they're in love with you or some shit like that, but I don't know. We got guilty here. They guilty of going to your Akashic records. That's what Spirit said. They don't see nothing but one, one, one side of shit. They only see what they think. You know, what, you know how they feel. Or whatever. But they should feel guilty. For the pain they cause you collective. Is what I'm getting here. And Spirit is telling me to slow down. Because I be talking too fast sometimes. But that be the way that the, the downloads and the messages be coming to me. This person thought y'all wasn't there for to separate. And ever since y'all separated, they've been struggling to get over the past here. They don't have no understanding out of this shit, you know. But they know. Trust and believe they know that they're the ones that, that cause the pain. And then cause the damage in the relationship. They, they know they're the ones that sabotaged. So they've been facing a lot of challenges because they know that they're guilty. They know that they're guilty. Guilty. Hold on, collector. I, 
Spirit told me to cut them out. Well, other light. They hate. They hate that that you guys are apart. That your absence is tearing their ass up. Okay. Let me cut my other light on. <laughs> Just bear with me, collect. I gotta move through all this stuff over here. Ooh. Let's see if I can pull this up. <laughs> Might not be plugged up. It's not. Well, we go with what we got. <laughs> yeah. They, they hate that y'all separated. Whoever this is. Spirit said, I am the light. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, I can't mess with that one. Spirit said, I am the light. Tell us more about this karmic energy, Holy Spirit, please, and thank you. What they need to know, what they need to be aware of. Thank you to all my loyal subscribers. Thank you for all my A1, day ones. Y'all been hanging with me. I really appreciate y'all. I see y'all. Thank y'all. Uh, Jackie no, Nurse Oasis. <laughs> y'all, man, y'all really be getting it in for me. I love hearing from y'all. I love hearing from y'all. Y'all just... Y'all make my heart beat. <laughs> y'all make my heart sing. Yeah, this person got a lot of bad habits. They got a lot of bad habits. You know, but they want to try to do some magic on you because they didn't think nothing was supposed to change between y'all. This absence is hurting this person real bad. They want, they want to, they want to fix the connection. They want to fix it, but see, they feel like you hold back. They still feel like it's a chance after all the damage they caused. They feel like it's a chance. They feel like they still got another chance, but you know what? They was hit there with a third party. This is a fucking karmic channel. Y'all gonna hear some some profanity. Y'all gonna hear some of all that because we're dealing with karmics here. Okay, and so different spirits and, and, and embody the messages as they flow out. Okay, but they was fucking around. They was fucking around on you. But they feel like you hold back. <laughs> but they know they sabotaged everything. I can't make it up. They sabotaged it all. They sabotaged the whole entire relationship. They messed a good thing up. And they know it. And they know that you don't see them as being worthy to be in your life. To, you know, take up any space in your heart. They going through some challenges in their life right now. Uh, since y'all separation. Oh yeah. But see they was going to your Akashic Records. They were seeing a practitioner doing spell magic on you and stuff like that. Something they had no business doing. They don't got, to, got no understanding. <laughs> of why you are. Uh, why you letting them go. They feel shattered and broken. But they know they sabotaged it because they had a third party. But they feel like you're supposed to forgive them for having a third party. You're supposed to forgive them for fucking around on you. You're supposed to forgive them for, you know, treating you like you didn't fucking exist. You know, you're supposed to forgive them for not having the emotional feelings that you had. The hurt, the pain, the sadness that they caused you. The sleepless nights, the worry and the stress, the anxiety. They want to just hurt and me and some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like they can just put you on a goddamn sewing machine and run you through that motherfucking and, and mend it up and everything and be okay. This person is damn psychotic. Yeah, they missed the opportunity with you and they know it. And they feeling all broken, holding back, wishing they still was in a commitment with you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hoping and I don't know if they praying, but they hoping that they praying they P-R-E-Y. I N G in you, stalking you, cause they ain't gave up. They ain't, they ain't giving up on y'all yet. They feel like you holding back. Hmm. They want to blame you. They feel like you being selfish with your love. This is what I hear them say in the spirit. That's what spirit telling me? They feel like you holding back. 
being selfish with your love. You just don't want to share it with them no more. You know, they ain't do nothing that bad that you shouldn't forgive them or whatever. You might be a, you know, a church going person or something like that. They feel like you're just supposed to just, you know, let that shit ride it and, and forgive them. Mm-hmm. They thought the shit was funny up until now. And that shit ain't funny no more. They didn't do what they supposed to do when they should have. That's what Spirit said. Now they feeling all fucking overwhelmed and shit. They know they sabotaged it. Now they somewhere sitting broken, feeling guilty. Hoping you ain't gave up on them yet and shit. You know what I'm saying? They had these badass habits uh, uh, with these third parties. You know what I'm saying? One, 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 you know, forgiveness from you. But they ain't never guilty. They guilty, but in their minds, in their hearts, they ain't never guilty. <laughs> yeah, you done start a whole new chapter. This cycle is over. And I don't know what it's going to take to get through this person's head or whatever. I I, I don't know what it's going to take for you, you know, because this person is, is, is still, you know, you may have detached from the relationship, but this person ain't, ain't let go yet. They feel like you shit. You the one that's trying to get away, and they ain't gonna try to let you escape. <laughs> this person is delusional. I mean, they even try, might, might might try to start buying you things and stuff like that. You know, so what I'm getting here, you know, trying to buy you back and shit. Well, I heard the price was already paid, and you're not for sale. Okay, you're not for sale. <laughs> you know your value. What is this person's problem? They can't just bring some money up and think that they can, you know, wash all the bad they do away. Or they've done to you away. Okay. With happy here. The water spirit. Number 15 could be significant. What else is here, spirit? You should. You, you, you moving on. Are you trying to? Start over. But not with this person. What else is here? They want to clean their mess up. Where, where's my calendar at? I want to show y'all something about the nine days of the week. And I knew this, this card was going to come out. You're supposed to be in a sacred union. Not in one where you're sacrificed. But one where, where it's sacred. It's the difference between being in a sacrifice union. That's when you compromise and be with because you're just going to deal with it because you just is going to deal with it. But when it's sacred, it's for keeps. This person had a sacred union until they sabotaged it. That's what Spirit said. <laughs> they need some spiritual healing here. I don't know what this person did, but we're about to find out. First, let me look up temple healing. Okay, collective. I want to look up temple healing here. I'm whole tip. Okay. And I thank y'all for being so patient with me. Because like I said, I've just been in a reading mood lately or whatever. Well, we got hot pee here. Let's read hot pee. Okay. The channel message from hot pee is, I am hot pee. God of the East, and you see me sitting by um, a canopy jar, which held the lungs of the deceased. I hide my true function as a force of nature or spirit that circulates energy throughout your lungs and body. I bring change and growth to you, so release your fear of me, and I will bring you great healing. You can meet me by meditating with this picture as you hold it in your hand. Ask me to be with you and flow healing energy through your body. I will make you shiver with delight. This is hot pee. Okay, that way you can probably see hot pee better. Okay, that's hot pee. Now the meaning of hot pee and abundance is do more research and work to achieve your dreams. There will be a flow of finances coming to you. If this is love. A separation of the elements is happening here. To heal this, you need to release resentment over a past relationship and then ask for a flow of loving energy to fill your lungs and heart. 
if this is work related or career related okay seek more joy in your life and work by studying and preparing and then applying for a promotion or new work now I gotta go to I'm, I'm a hotel okay But Spirit ain't gonna let me go past the horse uh Barque. Okay. So the channel channel message from Horus is see my solar Baq. Okay. It says See my solar Baq that carries me to my wife Hathor. So we may have many spiritual and sacred marriages. This was a union made in heaven. And we wish you to have the, mo the union of body and spirit also. So I am preparing the way. In ancient days, the priestesses worked. Hold on, got to turn the page. Constantly with energy, prayers, and spells to bring balance first to the temple. And then balance and harmony to all of Egypt. We're asking you to do more spiritual work to restore balance in your love life. So spiritual work. That's why temple healing is here. Okay. Whoever this person is. Needs to do some spiritual work. Because you are ready. You are ready collective. You are ready. Have magical protection. Against any spiritual attacks. Anybody send your way. You have magical protection. Somebody was going to your Akashic records. And they was making a habit of it. That's what spirit said. They was making a habit of it. But here's Ahotep. The channel message from Amhotep is, Dear One, I'm even more than you write about me, for I exited countless years in human form. I was an alchemist, and together with Tahuti, I knew the secrets of entering the halls of Amenti for healing and rejuvenation. Call on me for trans healing, and I will be there for you always. For abundance. Finances improve if you devote time to the study of healing, hypnosis, and alchemy, or seek it as a treatment in love. Seek your partner wisely and look for evidence of compassion and wisdom in their nature. Decide now if you want to stay with the present partner based on these qualities also. If this is work or career related. Seek to study first or again to find a suitable career. Promotion is possible. Okay, so that's what we have here. So somebody is going to be starting a new chapter here. Okay, somebody needs to recheck the person that they with right now because maybe they don't need to be with that person. Okay, I'm just saying you have free choice, free will, or uh, whatever is your decision here. Decision here, okay. But there's a lot of things that this person ain't told you. Uh, a lot of things you ain't learned about this person that you with here. Okay, wow. Mm. Spirit is not playing today. But see, this person was going to your Akashic Records. Okay. And they need some, some spiritual healing. They may have been a good person at one time. But right now, I don't know. Let's see what Spirit got to say about this person here. We got to let us know about this person that sabotaged this relationship. Or that's on the brink of sabotaging this relationship. Because they keep going to somebody's Akashic Records. They're protected for life. My collective is protected for life. But see, somebody want to mend something they sabotage with you. Whether it was commitment, a friendship, a partnership, whatever this is. A family member. They know they sabotaged it. But I'm picking up our relationship. It could have been a sacred union. Had they not involved a third party. Had they not. Sinned. Against God. When they sinned against you. God I got this. Okay. So what's here. They broke the commitment is what Spirit said. They broke it. So they missed the opportunity now. They missed the opportunity. They feel like you hold back. You should be with them. You should forgive them. They missing your absence. But but study. 
trying to do black dark magic on you to call you back into their life knowing that they sabotaged it knowing they sabotaged the sacred union they started off on the right track that's what spirit said but somewhere along the journey they they got off they got off and, and went veered to the left or, or veered to the right they didn't they didn't they didn't keep moving forward they took a suspect left that's what spirit said It's also the chariot card. Okay. They took a suspect left and went the wrong way. And now they hoping that you ain't gave up on them yet. What does karmic do, Spirit? What do my collective need to know about this karmic? Because they show thinking about you. Hoping you'll forgive them. Hoping they can get back with you. Knowing they fucked up. Mm. What's your spirit? Yeah, they feel like time heals our wounds. You should forgive me. You know, you you are a religious person. You should, you, you know, God is a forgiving God. You should forgive me. This could be a masculine ask for forgiveness, or you could be asking this masculine for forgiveness. You know, we're talking about energy here. It could be masculine or feminine. Okay, so someone will be punished for what they did. See. This person is going to be punished for what they did to you, feel masculine. They're going to be punished for sabotaging this sacred, sacred union. They're going to be punished. Because they broke the commitment. They broke it. They sabotaged it. And now they want to try to clean it up. A couple more spirit, please and thank you. What they need to know, what they need to be aware of. I don't know I was saying ain't no coming back from this. If they leave, they'll be back. See, this is what they want. If they leave, they want to come back. And probably be karmic karmic friends with you. But that's even to just give, you know, delve more into your Akashic records and do more spell work on them. That's all they want to do. But see, right now. They're mentally stressed out. Because they know they sabotaged everything. They depressed and mentally stressed out. And they know you ain't lying on them either. Whatever you said, collector, you told the truth. You can laugh on them. You can lie on this person. They just hoping right now. They, I mean, they picking that straw. They, 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 any which way they can, they want to try to mend this shit. They hope you ain't gave up on them. But I think through spirit, they done too much. But right now, just know this person, if they fucked over you, they depressed and stressed the fuck out right now. Mm. And spirit is punishing them for what they did to you. Mm. If they left you, I, the spirit said, you you probably already knew intuitively that they'd be back. That's why they was all in your Akashic records. Trying to figure out y'all going to be together again. This one failed. See, their plan was to take you down. Mm. Once they got you back, their plan was to take you down. That's why spirit separated it. Separated this commitment, this union. Separated it. Spirit did that. Because once, if they left you and they wanted to come back, they plan was to take you down, collective, feel masculine. What's here, Holy Spirit? And they're going to come back with a whole bunch more lies than what they left with. Ooh, I'm going to jump right in my lap. What is a Spirit? Oh, they want to meet up with lunch or dinner. They might call you and ask you to meet up with them. Because they miss you. They miss you. But they only miss you. Because their plan is to come back and take you down. Because they're depressed and stressed out. They feel like you holding back. Collective. Holding back. Want to start a new chapter with somebody else. And shit, they want to try to stop. Mm. They want to the practitioners. They want spell work. Everything. Because they want you back. They don't want to see you with nobody else. Hmm. 
What's here, Holy Spirit? What they need to know, what they need to be aware of. My collective gonna always be protected by the divine spirit. What's here? Okay, okay. Hold on, one fell down here too. Let's see if I'm standing. Yeah, here it goes. Hang on, collective. Ouch. <laughs> this person's something else. They got a lot going on. They digging for information. You're a Kasha Records. Oh my goodness. It says, I thought we were an excellent team until you decided to play alone. This is what you're saying to your person. You may have thought y'all was an excellent team until your person started to play alone. It says, you don't turn me on anymore. Hmm. Yeah, they don't turn you on no more, collector. I don't blame you. Once they mess around, I mean, it's like if they if they, if they touch one person, I mean, they it's, it's like a bad apple. They all rotten after that. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't want them to touch me neither. See, you're a clean person. You don't you don't need all that other shit on you. See, they don't know when you have sex, it's an exchange of energy. You know. A woman's body is a heavenly portal. You know what I'm saying? And that's when you go in. That's where creation starts or whatever. People don't see it like that. They just see it as a sexual act. And, and instead of as, you know, God's creation, something heavenly. You know what I'm saying? An exchange of energy. You know, from one goddess to a god and from a god to a goddess. You know what I'm saying? From the feminine energy to, to, to the masculine energy. And then it, you know, unites. But if it's bad energy, if that person's carrying bad energy, then they're pushing that bad energy into you or vice versa, okay? So you have to be aware of that. Yeah. You wonder how did your person do this to you? How could they cheat on you? For what? They didn't even have a reason to. They did it because they, they thought they was big enough to do it. That's why they did it. You have to keep asking where was they at? Excuse me. Yeah, I'm getting over um psycho. <clears throat> Where was they at last night and shit like that? Mm. Because they was out with the third party cheating. I'm talking about, oh yeah. Oh, the sex was great. I want more. I don't care if this was a feminine energy or a masculine energy. This is what the fuck they said to that third party. The sex was great and I want more. Oh, they, they, uh -huh. And at that moment. They know they, 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 they had broke the sacred union. At that moment, they knew they had broke the sacred union between you and them. They sabotaged it. And they knew. Oh, when they went to the bathroom to clean themselves up. If they clean themselves up. They was like, oh my God, what have I done? What have I done? Yeah, they feel stupid now. What else is here? They want to call you and ask you to meet them up for lunch or dinner. Meet, meet with them for lunch or dinner. This is to keep you from moving forward. But you're moving forward with a real sacred union. Hmm. This motherfucker that fucked over you is going to have to be overwhelmed. Okay. <laughs> they need some spiritual healing. That's what God said. It says. <laughs> the third party said. Oh hold up. Wait a minute. Now they kind of heartbroken. They that's some shit. I guess this would be <laughs> the infamous victim number two. Your person playing victim. Now the third party playing victim. Oh, you didn't tell me. You didn't tell me you were married. You didn't tell me you were married. The fuck? You didn't do a background check? You fucking every time Dick and Harry, Jane, Karen, and, and Susan? Who the fuck are you? You don't even do background checks, okay? You're here sticking anything, you know what I'm saying? Or letting anything stick you. You're like a fucking dirty needle. Or a why, okay? A why, open 24 hours a day. Just keep them spreaded. Oh, we spirit getting real tonight. What's here? What is this? <laughs> the third party want to pull some bullshit. Like, I think I'm pregnant. 
Which, because you never told me you were married, though. I think I'm pregnant. Yeah, because you know what? They was all, you know, when they was sexing it up. All the sex is great. I want more. I want more. Yeah. And your person be a feminine masculine. Didn't have no protection. Didn't have no protection. Even though the third party lying. That's what Spirit said. They made that shit up. I see they made that shit up. And that's what Spirit showed me. This went straight across. Woo, like a ribbon on a blimp. They made that shit up. What else is here? Yeah, they messed up. Your, your person, no, they messed up a good thing in their life. Woo-wee. <laughs> oh, boy. They want to tell you that, no, the third party line. I didn't do nothing with them. Third party holiday, you know, pregnant. Mm -hmm. Imagine that shit. Your person needs a, a, a spiritual awakening, a temple cleansing. To clean that temple out up in here, all that. Woo! From the crown chakra on down. They need some cleansing to the root chakra. They want to try to go in your Akashic records. See what your life plans is. But see, you got magical protection around you. Okay, Spirit, I want you, you know, lined with, with uh, uh, I don't know what to call it, swine, lying with swine, you know what I'm saying, like, uh-uh, that ain't happening, yeah, your person is stressed out and drained, because <laughs> they don't know what to, what, what to do now, they don't want to deal with the third party, even though sex was great, they weren't planning on, you know, having no relationship, no long term with them or whatever, it was just, that's it, the sex was great, it says, it was my decision, I wasn't forced. Hmm. It was my decision. I wasn't forced. But you never told me you were married. Even though the sex was great. Hey, listen. I still want more. Knowing they sabotage the shit with you, they ain't learned their fucking lesson yet. See, that's the problem that spirit guys is having, your ancestors is having with your person. Because they ain't learned their lesson yet. Okay. What else is here, Spirit? I was going to pop the question until I got my test results. Ooh. I was going to pop the question until I got my test results. Somebody thought they was pregnant. See, this third party played mind games, too. On your person, but your person fell for it because oh wow, they was all into it. I thought the sex was great, oh, but you never told me you were married. I was gonna pop the question until you told me you was pregnant. But they was lying. Your person was lying. lying. <laughs> One more spirit. This is crazy. This energy be crazy sometimes. What is going on with these people? Man, Lord. What do they be thinking about? Don't be having protective sex or none of that kind of stuff. You cannot control the results. Only your actions. So that's what you tell your person. Hey, listen. If you got that person pregnant, you need to be over there with them. Okay? You need to go over there with them and handle your damn business. Because you moving forward. You ain't got time for the shit. You can't control the results. If you was having unprotected sex and you, and you got somebody pregnant or somebody got you pregnant, okay, yeah. But you could have controlled your actions, okay? Not only is your person, you saying that to your person collective, but Spirit said it to them too. They should have known better. That's why they need some temple healing. They need some cleansing here, okay? And, and, and. The, the crazy part about this is, is Spirit is saying they knew better. They knew better. I don't know how they got off the path, off the straight and narrow. And went to the left or went to the right. But they got off the path. Wow. What else is here? Oh! Mm, mm, mm. You know what I just picked up on? What Spirit told me? I'm going to read that card next, okay? Your masculine told this karmic film 
that they was going to ask them to be engaged with them, not to marry them. It was going to pop the question until the test results came back. Because that's why. Your masculine I had a vasectomy. Your masculine can't have children anymore. They may have some, but they don't have children anymore. Can't have children anymore. I don't know if it's an age factor, a physical factor, you know, whatever. They may have had some type of surgery done. I don't know. But yeah, now they realize the, the, the third party was not only sleeping with them, but sleeping with somebody else. But for some of y'all, that's not for all y'all, that's for some of y'all. Okay. Somebody waited, but somebody never showed up. Somebody never showed up. Because if your masculine was messing with a third party karmic feminine, this third party karmic feminine know that she could it was a possibility she was pregnant by somebody else because she was screwing somebody else, okay? So your masculine waited for this karmic film and this bitch never showed up. Because she knew that your master may, it was a possibility, he may have popped the question. So not only did your masculine fuck up with the third party, but the main person he fucked up with was you and God. Okay? And if this was a feminine energy that was messing around her masculine, oh yeah, that masculine wasn't going to marry you. <laughs> Whoever that karmic mas uh, feminine was, in the bad film that was screwing your man. Now, your person was going to never marry that nasty, skanky hoe. Okay. He probably smelt her. Knew she was sleeping with somebody else. You know, me could tell that shit too. He probably told the bitch it was over. Okay. Your man's going to want you to give her some time. Think about it. You know. I guess because of y'all spiritual background or something like that. Mm -hmm. But you're like, no, 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 no. I watch from a distance. I seen the way you look at him. Or I seen the way you look at her. Shit, how far as I know, y'all could all go to church together. I don't know. There's something you need to know. Your message still ain't telling you. I don't know how much more of this I could take. Because, see, you don't have all the answers. Because your message is still... Dang on it, doing shit ain't got no business, or doing shit she ain't got no business. This karmic film or this karmic mess is still doing stuff that ain't got no business. One more spirit. One more spirit. I, I keep seeing this over. It's over. It's over. That's what I keep seeing. It's over. Yeah. Your person says, I, f I feel it's growing distant. Can we talk about it? But I, I'm, I'm saying, I, I'm hearing that it's over. It's over. They, they may cry that, you know, cry out that, no, those are all false accusations. But Spirit said, mm -mm. I need a little bit more time before I commit. But see, you might have told your person you may need some more time. But if you don't mean that, don't tell them that. Because this person has cruel intentions towards you, collective, for masculine. Okay? Don't do that. Okay? They're not going to never tell you the truth about the third party because they enjoyed the fucking sex with the third party. Okay? And they're going to continue to enjoy the sex with the third party. Okay? Wow. Let's get something from here. But see, your person ain't giving up on you yet. But there's still a wolf in sheep's clothing here. Okay. And this third party karmic think that they stole your person, be it your man or your woman. They think they stole them from you. Ain't that some shit? Ain't no such thing as, as, as stealing a person. A motherfucker gonna go willingly or unwillingly. <laughs> and I, I ain't heard nothing, nothing about kidnapping come up in this motherfucking video. In this reading. What's going on with this person's, uh, this, uh, collect this karmic person? One card, please, spirit, please, and thank you. What's their energy, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit? What's the tea on this, uh, 
my collector's corner person. Oh, see, I told you. They want to make you some type of dirty offer. Don't trust them. They got cruel intentions. Okay? They got cruel intentions. They just want to get their claws back in you. You know what I'm saying? Have some rough sex with you and shit. That's what I'm getting here. To make you think they love you. You know what I'm saying? That rough ass sex choking your throat and all that fucking shit. They want to make you a dirty offer. Tell me about this karmic feminine. What's her energy, Holy Spirit? Woo. Ha. She got a lot of damn energy out here. Let's see. The one the bitch obsessed. Okay. We got moving here. Obsessive lover. She planning on moving closer to you and your person here. <laughs> Creeping. Creeping. So she can watch you and your person here if you get back with your person. Feel masculine. Yes, yeah, this bitch is a creeper. Bitch is a stalker. Obsessed. Look at her. Look at her. Obsessed. Mm. Your person will give you a dirty offer. See, this is a dirty bitch, too. This is a dirty bitch. She, she, she loves fucking. You know, so she unhealthy, too, with that. She toxic. Possessive. I wish I won't let your person go. That's why your person got cruel and chips. He's going to keep on fucking that bitch. Okay. He's going to keep on fucking that bitch. As long as she keep it open like the white. 24 hours a day. I said 24 hours a day like the fucking white. Them ladies spread it open like a white. Just like a white. <laughs> your man's going to be giving them money, too. Tell us more about this mask. What about this dirty off? Reject it. Reject it. I know it says reject it. But I'm hearing reject it. Reject it because it's a dirty offer. Okay. Reject it. That's what Spirit said. Anything else you'd like to say, Spirit, before we close out? Anything else? Oh, yeah. This person is a... Uh, If you look this person's cell phone, you're going to find out they're guilty. All right. They're guilty. That's what Spirit said. Reject, reject their dirty ass offer. Because this person, I mean, it could be, it, it could end up being some legal issues because this karmic feminine does that to your person, the bad film. She's very obsessive and she's creepy. And the bitch already, you know, don't know who she's pregnant about, okay? Because she keep it open like the wide 24 hours, you know? Anybody can go in. Hell, you know, I, I heard that uh, Joe was up in there. Paul was in there. Craig was in there. You know what I'm saying? Jody was up in there. And then John go, damn, now my buddies up in here. Y'all up in here too? Yeah, he's stuck up in there too. I don't know if them the names, I'm just saying. Okay, but that's how this bitch wrote, Okay. Well, yeah, because somebody got some proof and shit about what your person been doing with this karmic film or what this karmic film been doing with this karmic ass masculine. Okay, shit, let's go ahead and start your new chapter here. Okay, because you know, never found out all the shit your person been doing, but they was going to your Akashic Records, okay? Wow. Right now, they just think that they ain't, they ain't cussing you out yet. They ain't cussing you out. They just feel like you're ignoring them right now, but you just hold them back. Okay? But they crying over you. Believe that shit. They crying. They crying. But they ain't saying shit. Because they want to they want to wait back in. That's what Spirit said. So they ain't talking shit right now. Okay? They ain't talking shit. But some of y'all, they need y'all to get them, finish taking care of them financially. Be a mask on the feminine. But they know they shit. They, they, they played out. They better learn. They better learn how to goddamn hustle. That's what I hear. They better learn how to hustle. Because you ain't going to be taking care of them motherfucking ass no more. Mm, you ain't going to be giving them no money no more. That's what Spirit said. They better learn how to hustle. They better learn how to make it rain. They better learn how to get it. <laughs> like Mother said. They better learn how to get it. Okay. Shit. You ain't thinking about their ass anyway. All the games they play, shit. You focus on your money and shit. You got all the facts you fucking need about what your person did for messing. You ain't want to do with this person, shit. Some of y'all that shit, they married y'all for the money any fucking way. That's the way y'all been feeling if y'all ain't said it. They hit the jackpot when they got you collected. Wow. They're going to be going to the doctor with this uh, feminine that says she's pregnant. 
Okay. Kissing ass. I hear kissing ass. They were willing to kiss your ass now, collective. If you're taking back, they're willing to kiss your ass. But they're not willing to give up those karmic ass friends, those karmic ties they got. And see, that's the problem right there. That's why I come, you know. They have to get some some, some spiritual cleansing here because they even went to practitioners to do, you know, going to a Akashic Records to see how it's you know, going to turn out between you and them or whatever. They want to start some drama. Mm, that's the bottom line. They willing to pretend to kiss your ass just to get in with their cruel intentions. Okay, to start some drama. And once they start that drama... This is what where all the legal issues gonna start, okay? Cause they're not willing to give up on these fucking karmic ass friends. They're not gonna let them go. They're not gonna let them go. One more. Huh? That person might be a little cloud hungry. And this bitch got a badass reputation. Okay, they was fucking with, wanting to be you, collective, them masculine, wanting to be you. Okay, want to act like you look like you copy. You're a fucking copycat. What the hell? Fake flexing like they got it like you. They ain't got shit. They can't measure up to you if they have some goddamn elevator shoes. They couldn't reach you. No, I got to get that one collected. So you are protected. And they haunted by what they did. They sabotage the sacred union. They gonna have to pay. They gonna have to pay. Man, I'm telling you. They gonna have to pay. They ain't got nothing but love on the brain for you right now, though. Haunted, having flashbacks by what they did. They're sabotaging. You know what I'm saying? Their relationship and regret. Okay, got with a copycat that wanted to be you, act like you, dress like you, but they could never measure up to you. Never measure up to you. I don't care if they had on fucking stilts, they could never measure up to you. Okay, you know them kind of Africans be walking in at the damn circus and shit or whatever, the festivals and shit. If they had on them, they still couldn't measure up to you. All right, that's what Spirit said. So now your ex just gonna be holding a grudge against you. Okay. Holding a grudge against you. Okay. Wow. Well, you don't care. You're spiritually protected. You're mag you have a magical protection of light around you. This person's wasting their time trying to go on your caution records or anything else. So because if they're wasting their time, they can hold a grudge all they want because ain't no changes gonna happen in your life. If anything, they're gonna get better. Okay. You're just not interested in this person anymore. All right. This person's just stuck. Just stuck until they do some temple healing. Until they cleanse out their heart, their mind, their soul, their body. Okay. They need to be still, be quiet, and listen to the voice of God. They need to meditate. See, that's when you hear God. When you pray, you talk to God. When you meditate, you hear God. This person needs to go to purgatory and talk to God and meditate and then hear what God got to say. Okay? That's the energy I'm getting here. That's the message I have for someone here. Okay? You are uninterested in this person. You don't want to have nothing to do with this person. They need to get their life cleaned up. That's what I hear. Okay? Wow. That's what I hear. Right now, they're spiritually hating on you because, see, you didn't break no spiritual laws. They did. Okay? So, right now, they're spiritually hating on you. All right? Just know that collective. Until next time, stay safe. You know what I'm saying? Uh, stay vibing high. You know, keep your frequency high. Stay positive. And love, light, and peace to you always. All right? God bless. Namaste for now.